Hey gang, Will here from the Ashland Fly Shop with a fishing and conditions report for you for the middle of August 2018. Okay, we're going to hop right in with the Rogue and kind of our immediate area here. We're probably just going to kind of stick to that. Uh, that's really, we're just dead center in the kind of summer uh, dog days or the doldrums or whatever you want to call them, but there are some bright spots. We're going to talk about the Rogue. We're going to talk about the weather, so yes, yeah, so the 15th of August puts us in basically 30 solid days of smoky conditions. And it has really been sucky. So, um, you know, we have, we've had varying degrees, but you know, we have had pretty unhealthy uh, conditions out there, um, you know, as far as the smoke in the valley. We just got a couple big fires and whichever way the winds shift, <clears throat> just kind of brings it into the valley and it just kind of sits here and kind of an inversion effect just sort of keeps it here so it's been a real bummer we've still been fishing we've still been running trips we've still been doing stuff like that people are um you know just kind of grinning and bearing it for the we're doing some half days and some full days um but um but that's kind of what it is no way to sugarcoat it it's just kind of what's happening in the rogue valley it's the price we pay for being surrounded by wilderness uh, at every uh, direction. Um, on the flip side, if there is a flip side, silver lining, um, the smoke is kind of like a constant overcast. It does keep water temps down uh, to a certain degree, especially lower down on the river. Um, and that can actually be a pretty big deal. Uh, difference in a couple degree temperatures can be quite a bit. So we've kind of avoided some real high temps here because of the smoky conditions, which, uh, which we're happy to see for the fish. Fish don't seem to mind the smoke. Uh, they're still coming up the river. So, um, but I think, you know, for visiting here and whatever, that's an important thing to know. Um, on to the river. So the river is uh, fishing pretty good. Um, typically this time of year we see kind of a pretty hot streak where we have a, a week or even four or five days where almost everyone I talking, I'm talking to is hitting a fish here or there. Guides are, you know, getting a couple a day, things like that. I haven't say we've really seen that, but we definitely have been getting fish. We've been missing a few, landing a few here and there, um, and just some beautiful fish, really nice fish uh, that, that we see these early fish. Um, um, but not a real like, you know, a week that, you know, really gets us super pumped, but it's absolutely worth going out. I think still the Rogue is really uh, uh, one of the best places to be right now, steelhead fishing on the West Coast, um, and especially the upper section where we're at, where we have uh, good conditions um, for them, good water conditions. Um, flows out of the dam are about 1,300. They just bumped them up a couple hundred CFS, which is awesome. That's really gonna get the salmon moving. Um, it's going to get more steelhead moving. You know, any fish that are kind of lingering in the canyon pools are going to get moving along. They're going to get a sense of that fresh water and really get moving. So I think they just did that in the last few days. So I would not be surprised uh, to see an uptick in numbers of fish in the upper river here for mid-August. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's mainly what we're seeing. So that would put flows at about 1,900 around Dodge Bridge. It's pretty much game on right now for any technique. Um, if you enjoy fishing uh, Scandi style, swinging Scandi style lines, light lines, uh, uh, Stuart just hooked a, a fish on a waking fly this morning uh, at first light with a client. Um, so it's a good time to be doing that. Um, you can fish a light tip and a traditional fly. You can fish it in the surface. You can fish a sink tip and an intruder. Uh, you know, we get people that come in like, well, we're fishing sink tips and we're getting them and you know, that's, you know, well, we're fishing Scandi and, you know, you really can fish almost anything right now. And, and, and if, if, you're, if you're in front of a fish, you're probably going to get one uh, because they're pretty wound up. Also nymphing, uh, also a very good technique uh, for fishing the rogue always. And um, if that's a technique that you like to use, then absolutely. Uh, there are fish stacked in some of those uh, usual spots and pools that you'll find out there. So, um, so, so pretty much any any technique is gonna is gonna be useful right now. Uh, our other mid mid summer hot spot, uh, the Williamson River, has really been fishing pretty well. Um, I I would say you know again that's another place that we really suggest people go. 
It's tougher access. We've been talking to a lot of people about walking in there. I mean, it's just hard for, for walking in. There's a few spots, but, um, but really getting in a boat, any kind of craft is really going to really gonna completely change your chances out there. But it's been good. It's been good. You know, swinging leeches, small leech patterns, small nymphs on sinking lines, uh, doing a little nymphing on some of those deeper runs and stuff. Um, not a lot of dry activity this time of year. So this warm weather really compresses those hatches, but, uh, but uh, all that sink tip style fishing is good. We've seen some nice big fish come out of there. Uh, with Paul McDonald working out there, Marlon Rampey. I've just seen some really nice fish these guys are getting. So, so Williamson's a good spot. Happy to talk to you about that. It pretty much just fishes well and just even continues to fish well into the, into the early fall months. So real good bet there. Boy, the North Umpqua has really been kind of a tough story uh, this year. Just haven't really seen uh, seen a lot of fish up there this year, and it's it's just been pretty quiet fishing. You know, definitely some some bright moments here and there, but but pretty quiet overall. You've got the hoot owl effect up there uh, for the afternoon. The afternoon fishing is closed. You know, all through the fly water and stuff. So please keep that in mind if you're heading up there. But um, yeah, I've just been talking to a few guides and they've been, uh, they've been struggling with uh, finding fish for their clients up there. But you know, it's an exceptional place and it's cyclical, just changes kind of year to year. And, and uh, it's just kind of one of those uh, slower years for the North this year. So uh, I'm sure that won't keep you away, but, uh, but that's, that's what we're hearing. So we're gonna kind of keep it local with this report. That's about as far as we're going right now, to be honest. We're really focused on the rogue. Um, we're just seeing more fish come in. We're just seeing uh, fishing kind of uh, get better and better as we get closer to our peak season, which is really like getting into the first couple weeks of September. We really see good concentrations of fish going right on through uh, into basically the end of the year. So we're really in full steelhead mode right now. We'd love to talk to you about that if you wanna give us a call. Um, happy to put you in a boat um, with one of our great guides and get you out on the river for some of that fishing. If you have any questions about the conditions, uh, the smoke, uh, whatever we're kind of dealing with here, please give us a call. We're happy to share what we know with you and uh, talk fishing. So we we'll hope to see you soon.